ready for more of the world's mysterious places. The two and a half thousand year old site of Chanquilo in Peru has in 2007 been claimed as the oldest solar observatory in the Americas. The 13 teeth-like towers which run along the back of a hill and look like the ridges on the back of a giant prehistoric lizard correspond to the rising and setting positions of the sun over the course of a year. The circular feature is a fortified stone temple. It appears to have been used up until the Spanish conquest. At 5,000 years old, Corral is the oldest city in the Americas. It shows every sign of having sustained thousands of people, but no pottery has been found there and neither have weapons or traces of warfare. Corral predates the Incas and was apparently a gentle society built on commerce and pleasure. The ancient Pueblo people were prehistoric Native Americans centered around the southwest United States. They lived in stone great houses of which the one in Chaco National Historical Park in New Mexico is the largest. It was last occupied around 1,000 years ago. Monk's Mound, at the center of the Cahokia site in Illinois, is the largest artificial mound in North America, although it is sometimes referred to as a pyramid. The base of the mound covers 16 acres. Traces of a large building have been found at the top of the mound. The best explanation of the purpose of this gigantic construction boils down to the word ceremonial, a term that leaves more to the imagination than anything saying nothing of what motivated the people who built the mound to go to such extraordinary lengths. Indications of human sacrifice have been found at other mounds in the area, of which there are over 100. By its proximity to the largest stone circles in England, Avebury and Stonehenge, Old Serum must once have been an important and well-populated site. The hilltop was occupied from around 3000 BC until the 13th century, when the relocation of the cathedral marked the beginning of the final decline. The outline of the old cathedral is still visible on the ground. The Isle of Tenerife in the Canary Islands is home to six step pyramids of unknown origin. The Norwegian explorer Tor Heyerdahl discovered that the pyramids of Kima are astronomically aligned with the summer solstice and advanced the theory that the Canaries were a stopover between the Americas and the Mediterranean in ancient times. Heyerdahl proved this was possible by sailing from Morocco to Barbados on a reed boat. According to the Hindu epic Ramayana, Adam's Bridge, or Rama's Bridge, was constructed by Rama's allies to allow him to rescue his wife from the demon king who ruled Sri Lanka. In the 6th millennium BC, sea levels were such that people could have used the bridge to pass between India and Sri Lanka. The bridge is an obstacle to shipping and a recent project aims to dredge near the Indian end to allow ships passage. This plan is opposed by the Ram Karma Bhumi movement and there are fears that a canal here could create a tsunami. The vast site of Persepolis in Iran was the ancient ceremonial capital of the Achaemenid Persian Empire, the largest empire of classical antiquity. The great palaces were built by Darius the Great in around 400 BC. They were famously burned down by the troops of Alexander the Great, 
who also destroyed some of the sacred books of Zoroastrianism which were written on cowskin in gold ink, a method of publishing that not surprisingly hasn't really caught on. great ziggurat at Ur in Iraq is all that remains of this once great Mesopotamian city, the traditional birthplace of the prophet Abraham. The ziggurat was called Etemenega, which meant a house whose foundation creates terror. It is the temple of the Sumerian moon god Nanar. The exact purpose of ziggurats is still unknown, although one source says there was a bedchamber on the summit occupied by one woman. The ziggurat is within the security perimeter of the Ali Air Base, home to coalition forces. Possibly influenced by the Mesopotamian ziggurats is the Great Mosque of Samara, one of the largest mosques in the world. The spiral minaret is over 1,000 years old and features on Iraqi banknotes. Being an ideal lookout vantage point at 52 meters high, it has been heavily damaged in conflicts between US soldiers and insurgents. Nearby are two sizable mysterious features. There is the bowl, perhaps an ancient amphitheater, and a physically opposite feature of a large circular mound, which I have named the Eye. Both are mysterious, not least due to the dangers of exploring this troubled region. 20 miles southeast of Baghdad is the ancient city of Ctesiphon, capital of the Parthian Empire and mentioned in the Old Testament. 1500 years ago it was the world's biggest city. The arch is all that remains of this city on the surface. It was part of the imperial palace, most of which was destroyed when the river Tigris flooded in 1987. It may look like a giant shoe half buried in the ground from space, but this is the widest and the highest single span vault of baked bricks in the world, an unfathomable and near miraculous feat of ancient engineering.